Hi there, Jeff here again from Picture Time. I am aboard the beautiful and recently renovated Adventure of the Seas. This ship is 1,020 feet long, drafts 29 feet in the water, at its widest points 155 feet wide. And in 2001, in October, when it set sail on its first cruise with Royal Caribbean, it was the largest passenger vessel ever built. I'd just like to give you a little tour of this ship. My wife and I are enjoying a five night trip from Miami to where this ship will be based in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Again, like most Royal Caribbean ships, the ship's sort of divided by two main elevator towers, one towards the front of the ship, and in this case, one towards the back slightly, but towards the center of the ship called the Centrum. And a great way to get around the ship is to take either the front or back elevators. We'll start here up on the 15th deck. There's only one thing on the 15th deck and that's a chapel. It's a very quiet place to sit and uh, pray or whatever you wish to do. Coming down a floor from the chapel, still towards the back of the ship, we're on deck 14. This deck houses the Viking Crown Lounge, the Blue Moon Nightclub, the Diamond Club, and also has a great view of the ship facing forward out these big glass windows. At night there's music and kind of a disco party in here, full bar, great place to come and hang out. Deck 14 also has the Suite Lounge. Coming down to deck 13, each one of the decks has one of these uh, monitors. They're touch sensitive and you can touch them. It'll tell you what to do at the current time. They'll also allow you to get directions from where you are to your stateroom or restroom. Cruise Compass will have the activities of the day listed, venues around the ship, dining and so on. These are a great resource if you're lost or you're trying to find your way and there's one near every elevator, every stairway to find your way around the ship. Coming out the back in deck 13 to the rear activity area. 13 is filled with fun things to do. Coming right out at that door we just came out of is a sport cart. There's also access to the rock climbing wall, putt golf, and towards the back of the ship access to the flow riders and the water slides. also goes down to deck 12. Taking the elevator of the stairs down one level in the Centrum elevator is deck 12 and this towards the rear of the ship is where Adventure Ocean is. Tons of stuff to do for kids from very young to very old. You can check them in through the day. It's an arcade, adventure activities. We didn't bring our kids on this trip but this is where the kids hang out. Just behind the arcade on deck 12 is the Optics Club for youth, as well as Johnny Rockets. Johnny Rockets is not included in your cruise fare, it is an additional charge. Right behind Johnny Rockets is an area for ping pong. I believe there's a tournament going on today. Moving forward from Johnny Rockets, on the starboard side of the ship, or the right side, when you're facing forward, is entrance to the running track and also a great place to lounge out. It's just a floor above the pool decks. And if you plan on running, run pretty early in the morning because this place fills up and gets crowded fairly early. In the front elevator tower, facing backwards, as I turn around, in the front of the ship is the Vitality at Sea Fitness Center and Spa. The spa is upstairs, you can get all sorts of treatments, they have programs all through the week. And then just below on Deck 11 is the Fitness Center. There's plenty to do on Deck 11. I'm down in the front elevator tower and I'm right by the Deck 11 entrance to the Vitality at Sea Spa and Fitness Center. You don't need to pay extra for the Fitness Center. There's treadmills and all sorts of stuff, free weights, things you can do without any additional cost. Most spa services cost additional beyond your cruise fare. Just out the doors on Deck 11 from the Vitality at Sea Spa and Fitness Center 
I'm in the solarium, and just outside the solarium on both the port and starboard side, there's access to this peekaboo bridge. Moving back from the peekaboo bridge on deck 11 is the solarium. This is a 16 and over area. It's a nice place to hang out. There's this little pool and a couple of spas in here, a bar that's very sheltered from the wind, which is why it's pretty busy today. Coming just out of the solarium, on the port side, or the left side of the ship facing forward is the towel station and the entrance to the main pool area. On the starboard side is the Hattie Dive Center. And on the starboard side of the ship, or the right side facing forward on deck 11, coming towards the back, is the Arctic Zone where you can get soft serve ice cream. Coming just inside the door on deck 11 towards the rear of the ship, right inside the ice cream station, is Giovanni's Table. This is a pay extra restaurant, fine dining, establishment towards the rear of the ship. Just on the other side of the stairway from Giovanni's table is the main Windjammer marketplace. This is the main kind of buffet style marketplace where you can have breakfast, lunch, even dinner if you like. Buffet style. Tons of stuff to eat in here. Soups, meat, salads, desserts. They have an omelet station at breakfast. Pretty much anything you want to eat in here. The Windjammer is included in your cruise fare, and along the edges of the Windjammer on both port and starboard sides, there's some great places to sit with wonderful ocean views. My wife and I enjoy having breakfast here every morning. So I just came down the stairs in the centrum or the elevator tower that's towards the rear of the ship. I'm on deck eight. Decks six through 10 are primarily staterooms, but on deck eight, towards the rear of the ship, there's the Royal Caribbean Online Internet Cafe. Also in deck eight, there is an overview looking all the way down to deck three, but primarily over the Royal Promenade level on deck five. Coming down one level to deck seven, just below the Royal Caribbean Online is the library. Quiet place to read and check out books. Home sweet home. So also on deck seven, just outside the library, is our stateroom. And many of you asked last time why I didn't do a stateroom tour, so I heard ya. So we got an ocean view stateroom on deck seven. It's on the port side of the ship. Basically two twin beds pushed together. Uh, we have a nice little balcony overlooking the ocean here. Stateroom's small, but plenty adequate. Storage to put clothes, little desk or makeup area, and a small but adequate bathroom. Library on deck six is the Royal Caribbean Next Cruise office. This is where you can book your next cruise. They often offer specials while you're cruising to get discounts off your next cruise. Coming just down the stairs from deck six down to deck five, this is kind of the heart of the ship, really. I'm towards the rear or the centrum elevator shaft towards the back of the ship. And facing backward is the top level of the Sapphire Dining Room. The Sapphire Dining Room is the main dining room that's included with your cruise fare, and it spans decks five, four, and three towards the rear of the ship. Just in front of the Sapphire Dining Room is the entrance to the Royal Promenade.
walking forward from the Sapphire Dining Room towards the Royal Promenade. On the starboard side, or the right side, the ships facing forward is guest services. And on the port side back here is the champagne bar. I'm also overlooking these stairways that go down to decks four and deck three. We'll get to those in a minute. The Royal Promenade houses most of the shopping venues, the freshly remodeled Izumi restaurant, kind of a sushi restaurant, gifts, jewelry, watches, perfume and cosmetics. It's also like the captain's party, disco party, and a variety of venues and events that happen in here. Live music at night. Pretty fun place to hang out. Moving forward, we have Ben and & Jerry's and Starbucks Coffee. And we have the Royal Caribbean Fashion Boutique. And then the Cafe Promenade. The Cafe Promenade is open almost all day until well into the evening. You can eat here for lunch or dinner. This is where you get your pizza, your late night snacks. Also, they have a little bit of a coffee and tea station. My wife and I love coming down here for a cup of tea or coffee in the evening. Standing on the fifth deck, facing forward, I can look straight ahead into the Imperial Lounge. The Imperial Lounge is a sort of a lounge area to hang out. It's often occupied in the evenings. We had a couple of game shows in here. Currently right now there's actually an art auction going on. So there's a variety of activities in here during the day. It's right towards the front of the ship on deck five, just in front of the Royal Promenade, just in front of those front elevator bays. And then look down to the Lyric Theater, which is on decks four and three. And the stairway will take you down to the Lyric Theater. Coming down one level to deck four, a lot of stuff here to do on deck four. Right at the front of the ship, as I said, has got the Lyric Theater in it. The main line shows are in there, comedians, music, dancing, the set sail, initial show, where the cruise director gives you directions as to what's going on. A lot of activities and shows happen in this big main Lyric Theater. There's also a doorway coming just out of the Lyric Theater, out to this outdoor, walkway and it's a great place to just uh, stand out and look at the ocean it's kind of magical out here at night to come and listen to the waves and watch the stars coming just out of the lyric theater towards the front of the ship on deck four and facing backwards we have the schooner bar and chops grill Chops Grill is the ship's steakhouse. It's a pay extra restaurant, hot, fine dining. Looks like at the Schooner Bar right now, they have a game show trivia going on. A variety of trivia events, music, live music, a lot of things happening at the Schooner Bar. Moving forward on deck four from the Schooner Bar and Chops Grill is the entrance to Casino Royale. If casino gambling is your thing, well, this is for you. Kind of spans the whole center of the ship on deck four. Coming out of Casino Royale on deck four, moving towards the back of the ship, is Bolero's Bar. Bolero's is currently housing some live music. But in the evening, sometimes there's a ballroom dancing classes here live music. There was a Latin band the other day. Just on the other side of the uh, stairways here too, there's just kind of a lounge area, a quiet place to sit and hang out. And leaving Bolero's kind of near the centrum elevators here towards the back of the ship is Deck 4's entrance to the Sapphire Main Dining Room. Coming down the stairways from Bolero's, just in front of the centrum there, I'm down now on Deck Right at the back of the ship on Deck 3 is Deck 3's entrance to the main Sapphire Dining Room. And just in front of the Sapphire Dining Room on Deck 3 is the new Art and Photo Gallery and the new Digital Photo Center. Wild Adventure was in Dry Dock the last month. They just recently revamped their whole photo area. Now there's not prints, but you can actually type in your stateroom number and find pictures of yourself throughout your cruise right down here in order prints. And then moving forward, deck three just in front of the digital photo area 
is Studio B. So I want to hear everybody right now, who's ready for a great show? It is actually an ice rink slash theater at sea. There's ice shows here, as well as open skating. So I'm trying to go through this tour fairly methodically, but there's no way to get in front of Studio B on level three. So I went up to level four and came back down the stairs to level three, kind of towards the front elevator tower. Uh, there are some staterooms here towards the front of the ship on level three and also the main entrance to the Lyric Theater. Coming down the stairs from deck three to deck two towards the front of the ship, this would be the last stop on my tour. It houses the ship's conference center. And although I won't go down there, just below me is the medical center. It's actually a full staff of doctors and a medical center on the ship too. So if you get sick, they got you covered. Well, that about does it for my tour. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you haven't seen it or haven't subscribed yet, check out our tour of Oasis of the Seas. You can click right up here and I'll post a link to that. Otherwise, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on our future adventures. Thanks for watching.